So now we're having Kira do his left side because we don't want to neglect that for the sake of just a video. We need to make sure we get him nice and symmetrical. And this side was a little bit clearer. You can already see that line to start with, right? So this is where that boniness can get kind of tight, and that's where it gets even kind of, oops, a little bit sticky, huh? Yeah. Okay. That looks so nice. So good. Okay, so we'll have him go ahead and stand on that leg and then see, check and see what it looks like um, that being loose. Like, you know how we you squeezed it some? Mm -hmm. Not like this, yeah. So you can see that line pretty nice there, right? Right mm -hmm. down through here, that's what you want to see. But on this side, you can see where he just wants to be, right, a little tighter. I'm going to use your hand right mm -hmm. here. Ah, okay. So. You can see if that'll loosen up by doing the crease, releasing the crease, or you can go posture prep, you know, cross fiber on it. But that's where you, oh, see, he liked that. Big breath. <laughs> so we always want things to look pretty. So it looked kind of flat and tight. Okay. And now it's, as he told you, it was a good place to be. So the basic technique is cross fiber, but there's times we want to go with the grain of the muscle or between the muscle fibers. Excellent. Then, of course, it's always nice to compare the sides, look at your horse's posture, and see how nice that looks. You should come back here. He's standing a little wide, but if you come back here and you look, see where the muscles down low across the stifle? Mm -hmm. It's wider, that pear shape they talk about. His, He's a little bit more narrow up around his butt, and then his stifles are wider because those muscles of his quadriceps and his hamstrings are softer. So that looks really nice, doesn't it? It really does. Excellent.